All right, guys. Let's get started, all right? Get over here on the bike. You can spin on your bike. You can walk on a treadmill. You can jump rope, do sit-ups, push-ups, do a full-fledged workout with your gym equipment. Do whatever it is you want to do. Join in. Might be some discussion along the way. We're just going to try and burn off a few calories. We don't do anything crazy here on the Body Beat Down. We just like to get the body going. I've already done my morning walk that I do every day. And uh, now it's time to do this that I do every day. So let's get over here, guys, and uh, get the day going. And uh, let's go. Come on. Now, for obvious reasons, we're not going to have any music going because YouTube likes to give you copyright hits and they'll shut your live stream down. What's funny though is they'll let you upload a video that has music and they just put that there's a copyright hold on it. But if you try to do a live stream, they'll shut you down. Really strange. And yes, guys, you're going to hear the fan turning down here. That's a part of it. These machines make noise. Your machines are going to make noise. The good news is it'll help keep you awake. Hopefully you're able to hear me. As you can see, we don't go crazy here. As long as I keep... My RPM's above 45. I'm doing pretty good. And if you have these kind of bikes, you can also hold the handles. I don't really hold the handles very often. Just periodically throughout my workout, I'll hold on to them and get it going. Also, remember, stay hydrated. Water, all day, every day, seven days a week. Stay away from all the sodas and the juices and the, and the uh, sugary, horrible, uh, caffeine drinks like uh, Red Bull and Monster and all that stuff. Water. I'll go ahead and touch base on what happened yesterday. I started a live stream yesterday, spinning, and I was kind of interrupted. Uh, kind of had a family emergency, so I had to end the live stream just very abruptly. Uh, I got a video uploaded where I kind of talk about it. You can go check that out on the Body Beatdown. Uh, I just kind of wanted to open up and inform people of uh, kind of what happened. Since this channel is about health and fitness, it's also about mental fitness and other types of things like sicknesses, diseases, uh, anything of that nature is uh, it's fair game on the body beatdown. We like to cover some, uh, some topics. So we don't just spin, we don't just walk, we don't just work out. We like to discuss things and talk about things that are happening in our lives and, uh, you know, kind of the, some of the things that don't get talked about enough and, you know, maybe you need uh, someone to talk to and open up to. Well, that's what I'm here for. That's what our community is for on the Body Beat Down is to uh, open up and talk to people. Don't be scared. It's all right. And if you want to talk privately, one-on-one, -on -one, you can always send me an email at MikeySon71, M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N-7-1, at gmail.com. And we can go back and forth in there. That's fine. 
Is it 30 minutes yet? Are we done? It's funny, with my uh, emergency that I had yesterday, you know, got to find a little humor. I ended my live stream, but I kept my recording software going, so I had five and a half hours of video. <laughs> Literally like two minutes of me on the bike, then leaving, and then coming back in five and a half hours later and shutting it down. So, had a lot of uh, video there. I don't know if I captured any apparitions or anything. Hopefully, I won't get an emergency today. Hopefully. I posted this on not only my Facebook page, but I posted it on a couple of uh, groups that I'm in on Facebook, local groups. I hope that they chime in. Uh, the, the post has to be accepted first. Uh, the admins have to accept, you know the post, so some of you might be getting in here later if you come in and check it out. I think it's good to connect with your local people. You know, we go our whole lives really don't know anyone, and uh, you'll see us comment and all that kind of stuff on Facebook, but you don't really put a, uh, a real person behind it. Well, when I'm on Facebook, I try to be as real as I can, within reason. So even though I did have the emergency come up yesterday, I'd already gotten in my morning walk, and uh, of course my spinning was interrupted. But by the time we got home, I did go ahead and I went in the gym and I got my workout done, which was leg day. And then I did uh, I did my spin afterwards. So even when even when some of the worst things that can happen happen, all the way to nothing happening, you can still make time and effort uh, to put into your body to uh, try and better yourself. Remember that. It's always, uh, it, it, it's an important thing that we take care of ourselves inside and out. Because at the end of the day, who's going to do it? Who's going to be there for you when you're, when you're in need of help? Nobody, probably. You need to be able to take care of yourself. And, uh, it's up to us to be responsible and do that. And uh, it, it's the great American lifestyle, the great American diet that's destroying us. You might think that people like myself are crazy, but someone like myself has been there and done it. You know, I didn't get, I mean, my, my brain didn't click. And I didn't start switching and changing up my eating habits until just this last year. So I'm 50 years old, I'll be 51 in a few months. So that's 50 years roughly of garbage in my system. And we, we started from birth. Both my kids, you know, they had the great American lifestyle growing up. I'm sure you did as well. Eat whatever you want, as much as you want, whenever you want. Gain 50 pounds, gain, gain 500 pounds, it doesn't matter. It's your life, right? You're happy. You're not happy being overweight. You're not happy being sick. And it's not just your life. Because eventually, people have to take care of you. Whenever you get too sick, whenever you get too old, 
and you can't take care of yourself, eventually, you might not now, but eventually you're going to have to be on medications. You're going to be seeing the doctors more. You're going to be going to the hospital more. You're going to be using and abusing insurance more or government assistance or, you know, you're going to have to have people take care of you. So it's not really just about you and your life. Everything you do really revolves around everyone on the planet because we're all, to some degree, responsible for one another. And I think that we forget that. I think that we're just so big-headed and proud and, you know, set in our ways that we forget these things or we don't even know it. We don't even realize it. But, you know, we're all responsible for one another to some degree. And that needs to be uh, taught from birth. You know, I'm a school bus driver and I see I see things. I see kindergartners that are 100 pounds overweight. I see parents at the bus stops that are 100 pounds overweight, 200 pounds overweight. I see it when I go to Walmart, when I go to Kroger, when I do anything, when I go to the theater, watch a movie, I see, you know, you see all these things. That's abuse. Number one, that's abuse to your children. I know it's not easy because we're all programmed, we're all brainwashed to be this way and for it to be normal. But we gotta turn back America and uh, get our diets in check and our health care and take care of ourselves. I see somebody coming and let me check. I can't see from here. I'm just talking to my partner about this. Hey, uh, JJB. Uh, how you doing? Yeah. I mean, it's the truth. We don't think about it. Really, but we are all connected. We're all kind of responsible for one another. And we don't like to think that, but we are. Everybody thinks that, you know, you're not in charge of me. You don't own me. It's not your body. It's not your life. It's, no, but eventually it's going to be somebody's, you know. Somebody's going to have to take care of you at some point. It's one thing to grow old gracefully and with dignity and have to have help and, you know, some care. That's one thing. Uh, but whenever you self-inflict uh, dangerous uh, amounts of weight and all that other kind of stuff and drugs and alcohol and all that kind of stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff into your life, that's you now saying, well, to heck with you, I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and do this. So... Good. Uh, glad to know you're doing good. Uh, been doing good up here so far. Yesterday, I don't know if you caught the live stream earlier, but uh, I mentioned that I had an emergency come up yesterday. I tried to live stream spinning yesterday, and uh, I got interrupted within like two minutes of an emergency with my oldest kid. Uh, to make a long story short, he has really bad diabetes, so we were up at the hospital at the ER for about five hours. So I made a video yesterday kind of touching base on it whenever we got home and kind of settled down. I made a video kind of touching on things. You can go back and uh, you can check it out. I just uploaded it yesterday if you want. Uh, but that, that in a nutshell is kind of what it was about. So and these are the same things that I tell my son and my other son. It's the same things I tell my wife. They don't like to hear it, but, you know, 
when you got people not taking care of themselves, they're putting that on you eventually. And then you got some people that think that that's really rude, mean, stingy, greedy, horrible parenting, a horrible husband. Uh, whatever you tell people these things, it's like, how dare you not want to take care of them? Well, how dare them not want to take care of themselves? Do you see how America is? And I'm just speaking for America, because I'm in America. But see how people like to use reverse psychology on you and kind of reverse things? They try to put everything on you, which you've done nothing, and take all the focus and importance off of themselves who are actually causing the problems. Just like my in-laws, my wife's parents, they live next door to us. And every day they're saying, you need to let your son move in. He needs to move in. He needs to move in. Well, it's not just that easy. My son moves in. He don't make a lot of money. So we're going to be buying extra food, extra household goods. I'm going to be cooking all the food because he don't cook. Obviously, he eats junk. He don't clean, he don't do dishes, he don't do his laundry from start to finish quickly. He has a daughter, a three-year-old daughter, which I love with all my heart. But now we'll, you know, we have her all the time. Food, etc. Babysitting, etc. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into someone moving in your house. It's not just a move in. There's a lot to look at. And since I'm at home all the time, with my job being a bus driver, you know, I only work a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon, otherwise I'm at home. All that, all that extra stuff falls on me. And I don't mind helping people, but there comes a point where it goes from helping to supporting. You know, nobody, you know we parents don't sign up. To support our kids for the rest of their lives. We want them to grow up and be able to support themselves and uh, take on the, uh, the role of responsibility as an adult you know, on their own. He's a good kid, you know. My son's a good kid. He just, you know, you know how some some people are. They just don't get it until it's too late. Everybody's having a good day. Remember again, guys, stay hydrated. Drink water all day, every day. It's okay to have something else, but keep it in moderation. Don't sit there and drink a pack of Coke or two liters or all these sports drinks and monsters and Red Bulls and all this energy stuff. Keep the coffee limited. Uh, you're right, JJB. Uh, hey, Celtic. Uh, Grandma, how you doing? Glad you tuned in. Just kind of touched base on what we, uh, on that video I uploaded yesterday about my son and about health and everybody just kind of being responsible for themselves and, you know, how we're all kind of connected in this world and we're all kind of responsible for one another. JJB, uh, actually my son's numbers were so high that they're surprised he didn't pass out and die. They were in the 500s. So, uh, he was at work when it happened. He was kind of, they said he was passing out and coming back in and out. He said he was just sitting there meditating and relaxing, trying to compose himself. But, they called the ambulance. It got there. They were, he refused to take the ambulance, so his boss brought him to the ER, which we were already there waiting. So it kind of went from there. 
Y'all take your grandma I hope you're having a good day. Hope everything's well, everyone's way. I know this really isn't, in for, uh, you know, I know this isn't really interesting to everyone, but like I mentioned, you can always spin on your bike, walk on your treadmill, jump rope, push ups, sit ups, work out with weights, you know, do whatever it is, housework, whatever it is you want to do while I'm doing this and we're kind of doing it together and you can comment and listen to things and we can connect that way. So, you know, you don't always have to try and do this. Doing, doing pretty good. Doing all right. So far better than yesterday. Like I said a while ago, even though we had that emergency pop up yesterday, I still took care of myself. I did my walk, my spin, my workout. I made sure I ate well. And that's what you got to learn to do is to stay focused and calm and to try to always take care of yourself first. Because if you can't take care of yourself, then you can't take care of nobody. And you got to be strong mentally to be able to deal with you know, a wife that's upset and a kid that's upset and maybe dying, sitting there dying. You don't know what's going on. So you got to stay focused. I'm more of the focused, get mad and tell you how it is kind of guy to my kids. And my wife is more of the soft-spoken, more love, you know, cuddle, you know, and then get on to them and then hug them. I'm more of the you know, you finally get fed up and you're like, dude, <laughs> if you don't listen, you're going to freaking die. What's your problem? You know? So, hopefully he starts just taking his medication and trying to eat a little decent. That's the biggest problem. He don't like to take his shots. He's scared of needles, he's scared of the bubbles in the needles, he's scared of bleeding, he's scared, you know. And then, of course, he lives on his own, so he don't make a whole lot of money at his job, so he can't eat. He says he can't eat real well, but he makes money for junk food, but you know how it goes. Well, I can't afford to eat healthy, so I eat junk. Well, both of them cost money. Just limit what you do and eat healthy. It's not fun. Nobody wants to eat healthy. Junk food tastes great. But it's called junk food for a reason. And it's killing everybody. Sad situation. I'm glad you guys stopped in, though. I really appreciate it. And I know you don't have to stick around or anything. You just coming in and, and saying hi is great, and I appreciate it. I don't usually get any traffic on my live stream, so. Yeah, JJB, that was some, like the nurse, the nurse came in and and, uh, and poked his finger and did a reading, but her machine only went up to 400. So once they did the blood test, all the blood work came back and it was like 550. So, that's pretty much diabetic coma. I don't know how he didn't die. So, yeah, you're right. That's what a lot of us are always preaching, JJ, is uh, about the cost of food and and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's. I don't know if it's a conspiracy theory. I don't know if it's big pharma and all these people coming together and trying to keep people down and sick and on medications and hospitals. I don't really know. But it looks that way sometimes. And, uh, and again, you know, we get hooked on it from birth. And it's gotten worse generation after generation. You know, I was born in 71. And of course, back then, you still had people cooking 
and that was your main source of food is cooking. But a lot of the fast food was really coming into play, and especially once the 80s hit, which I'm an 80s kid. Yeah. Goonies for life! Sorry. You know, once the 80s hit, it was fast food from there on. You know? That's what's promoted. And of course, I still had some good home cooked food, but the fast food came into play more. And keep in mind, I'm also from a single parent family. My mom raised five kids uh, with the help of her mom along the way. None of us had dads or anything ever. So my mom worked her butt off. My grandma worked her butt off. My mom worked in a factory for 30 years. My grandma worked in the hospital for like 20 or 30 years. And, uh, you know, they gave us the best life that they could. And sometimes it was amazing foods. And sometimes we packed up and went to Wendy's for McDonald's. So, and our kids, you know, I take responsibility for our kids. But at the same time, that's just, that was, that's where my, uh, knowledge was my mental aspect you know eat as much as you want and eat whatever and eat until you're sick feeling and you know and I feel bad about it but you don't really think about it too much at the time but keep in mind my my oldest son has the diabetes is I don't know about 28 so he's been an adult for a long time long before he got diabetes so he could have changed his life, you know, and not even dealt with any of this. If he wanted to. And then whenever he first found out he had diabetes, he could have changed right then, and it would have, he would have had no more problems at all. Because it was the kind where you could work your way out of it. Oh, let me see. Who we got here? Hey, Steve, how you doing? Doing pretty good today. I hope you're doing good. Hi there, everybody. Hope everybody's having a good morning, good day, good evening, wherever you're from. Yep, you're right, JJ. JJB. You are correct. There's nothing more that's that's more appealing and more tasty than something so salty and good. <laughs> you're not too bad, Steve. Well, I hope that means you're you're more on the good side than the bad side. I hope. I hope you have a good day and working out and doing whatever if you if you get to. If today's a workout day or cardio day, whatever it is you're doing. Remember, like I say, you know, just because I'm on a bike don't mean you have to be on a bike while you're watching. If you got one good, or you can be on a treadmill, or walk, you know, uh, jump from jacks, push-ups, sit-ups, working out, doing housework. You could be painting, drawing, playing a video game, whatever it is you're doing, as long as we connect. And uh, we get some entertainment and some exercise, and, you know, we connect. Hopefully we can get more people in here connecting and uh, get people living a, a little bit better lifestyle. Ooh. Did legs today? Nice. And you'll be doing triceps after lunch. Yeah, I did legs yesterday. I'm pretty sure you seen my video I uploaded yesterday about all this diabetic stuff. I think you commented. I don't remember. I'm bad. But, uh, yeah, yesterday I did manage to get my legs done. I just did the uh, hack press. I didn't do squats or anything. I just used the hack press. But, uh, it, it actually works my legs out better than a squat. So, because I had better range of motion on the, on the leg press, uh, then I do a squat. So, it, it really works my legs out way better anyway. Yeah. Yes, and you'll be feeling the old leg pains probably tonight or tomorrow. 
Usually after a good leg workout, I'm hurting for like four days. Walking around, looking like Herman Munster. Ugh. Out there doing my daily walks. <laughs> Chasing little kids. I'm crazy. I'm crazy like that. I appreciate everybody tuning in. I really appreciate it a lot. You guys, you guys seem to chime in every so often on my videos and all that kind of stuff, and it's really appreciated. And I hope you find a little something entertaining, and you know, just something maybe kick back and enjoy a little bit along your day. I don't have the greatest channel in the world, but you know, I think I offer a little something for the really regular everyday guys. It's just kind of crazy, you know. Uh oh, 30 minutes is up. What? Holy smokes. That was a fast 30 minutes. I notice that whenever I do live streams and I'm cycling, I'm spinning, that 30 minutes goes really quick. So, because I'm always talking. <laughs> All right. Woo. Well, guys, I'll leave the camera right there. It's good. Well, heck, I'm all nice and sweaty now. Today is my chest day, so uh, I've already been thinking about that like two days ago. Uh, so far, pretty much just gonna I'm gonna start with flat bench, uh, some flat bench pressing. See where I go from there. Uh, last week, I think I did kind of a mix of a few things: incline flat, Smith machine, free weight, all that kind of stuff. So and dumbbells and. Uh, so this week, uh, today I might be more barbell centric. I don't know, just kind of, sometimes I know what I'm doing and I have a plan and then sometimes it's like while I'm doing it, I kind of do what I instantly feel, you know, a spur of the moment. So, um, yeah, so that's my plans for today. I've already done my walk. I just did my spin. I appreciate you guys tuning in and, uh. Hey, we're going to bug out here. Again, if you want to leave more comments after the fact, go for it. If you want to uh, check out my other videos and stuff, I appreciate it. Um, try to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'd like for us to build a good, strong community. And I do appreciate those of you that came in here. Uh, it makes me feel good and uh, to be able to connect with somebody. So uh, appreciate everything that you guys do. And I hope you appreciate a little bit uh, what I try to bring you. Um, so let's end this, guys. How do we end this? Inspire someone along the day, including yourself, because you matter more in this life than anyone in this world. Believe me when I tell you that. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Have a good Taco Tuesday, guys. Be awesome.